what happened is when the giants you know the body of the when the giants died then the the what was left were the spirit right and now this spirit we call them demons demons are spirit you know? demons are spiritual and demons what do they need now again they don't have the body to obviously possess you know to, they don't have a body that is much that big and giant no more they don't have it you know they can't have it so what they do that's why it's limited like that's why hey guys my name is mangab Telezi, the boy a gent who did not only accept jesus christ as a savior but also as a lord in his life Daco. now thank you very much for tuning in today and welcome to exploring the kingdom with sp Daco. let's kick it a very you know a very interesting a very interesting um topic and this topic comes from you know one person asked me what he so when you dance you know this dance is, is it like other dances are like and all that like is it like are you demon possessed and all that and you know people had questions like demonic 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 but then i guess i decided to do this video because of that so today we are going to be dealing with um the origin of demons part one so now um you know it the bible um, i i have to say this first first of all the bible that you read um does not really have one of the things that i'm gonna most of the things i'm gonna be talking about today right? but then the demons is really mentioned the word demon is probably mentioned more than 50 times in the bible um but then the origin of them how they occurred what and all the, everything it's not really you know you know the information that you do get in the bible the bible that you read so what i'm going to say is that information whatever it is that i'm going to say for now you will not find in the bible you will find clues but exact things you will not find in the bible that you read because um there is a book called the book of enoch the book of Enoch has things that the Bible that you are reading, um, I believe it's the reason the reason for that is because that the Bible will be too long. So the book is the book of Enoch is too much. It's too it's um twice more than the twice more with information than the book that you are reading, probably of um the book, the Bible that you're reading. So um please be warned that whatever it is that you're gonna hear. You know, um, this it's not in the Bible, straight, straight, straight. Some few things are in the Bible, but not all of them. So you will not find in the Bible. It, they are found in the book of Enoch, which I will just drop right here on the comment section. Um, okay, now we do realize you could see in the Bible, uh, you know, demons are really talked often and people ask me, you could see demons and all the way they come from, you know. Are you demon possessed? You know how can you differentiate? How can you differentiate between the two? Okay, fine. So now we're gonna be talking about demons, the origin of demons. Um. So long, long time ago, long, long time. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Long time ago, um, you know the devil. There are two types of angels. Actually, let me just talk about that. There are two types of angels that really fell on earth. Um. So we have good angels like that and we have bad angels. Yeah, cool. Um. A long time ago, the devil uh, probably want his, wanted his throne to be above God's throne. So he was greedy, he was prideful, and all that. Because this is the angel. The devil was an angel, which, which was called, you know, Lucifer. A very great name. A very great name. Um, he was an angel who really was a worshiper, the best worshiper that they got. He was working in the sound and the worship department. Bang. He was the best, you know, and he's still the best. And he also knows the Bible. He knows the scriptures. He knows worship, you know. So he was one of those angels that really God, you know, had put there. But then he was prideful and then he was um, thrown to the devil. I mean, to the to the earth. He was thrown 
down, fell down to the earth. Um, not only him, but the other angels that had planned, you know, that had planned with him, that supported his plan. You no, know, yeah, just put your put your your seat, you know, above God's, you know, put your 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 seat above God's. Oh, but um, what really happened there? God saw it probably too clever, and then he threw them out. He threw them down to the earth. Well, and there are other angels. There are other angels that are kept in the, you know, there are other angels that are kept in the heaven so that they are waiting for a judgment day. Those are the angels that are waiting for the judgment day. And then there are other angels that really fell. So this is what we call fallen angels. The fallen angels are the angels that fell from, from, um, from heaven to the earth because of they support they supported the idea of the devil well, so they fell but some of them are kept in the heaven right in the heavens but some of them are kept in the heaven so that's what you need to understand and also um th that's the first type of the the angels that we have with related to the demons and then uh, the angels that i'm gonna dwell in deep with are these ones there are angels that you know as time went by they were watches we call them watches Obviously, there are good watches and there are bad watches, but these watches, they were all watches, these angels, and then they were sent to the to the earth to to watch, basically to watch. It's almost like a security guard watching the cameras and what people are doing like that. So they came there, they were to watch, they, they were responsible to watch. So what happened is, there was this angel, a leader, bang, a leader, né? called Azazel. Azazel. Um, and this this angel... He probably did not want to do whatever thought that he had alone. He, he didn't want to do what he had alone. Uh, I want you to understand. These angels, you know, angels don't have will, you know, the will. The people that, only people, human beings, you know, we have a choice. We have a choice to do. We have a choice to, to do whatever it is. But um, God really told these angels to like, come down here on earth to watch basically what is happening and this guy this angel azazel decided that, um um this guy azazel um had a group of people group of angels that he he wanted to you know had he wanted to support with this whatever thought that he had so this guy these angels i'm sorry but I'll just refer him to guy or angel. Just know that Azazel was a, is a demon. I mean, I mean, Azazel is a, one of the angels. Okay, so the angels. So they decided to go to know man. Azazel saw go to know a few. Laban to I'm talking about women. He 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 saw women. The angels saw women. and then he said that he decided. He told those people. Decided to tell them about no. Let's just go and sleep with them, man. Well, the women. And then they took the women. Oh, they took the woman. They took the woman and they had, oh, well, they had um a, 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 an activity going on. You know, they reproduced in the in other ways. But I want you to understand what he, um we are. We have to deal with the terrestrial and the celestial. There's a terrestrial, uh, celestial, you know, physical, spiritually. So in that manner, the angels um they slept with the woman. You know, the man. We say the man, a female man. They slept with the man, and then you go, bang. You know what happened? What happened is that, um, then there were giants. There were like a, a human being. The and if, if you so, if you like, I'm not really good with science, but if you combine, according to what I think, if you combine like a woman, a human being with an angel sleeping together, they produced a giant. They produced a giant. You know? So there was a giant. There were giants. I mean, there were you, know, the giant of it. And more like Goliath, the kind of oh, Goliath kind of like thing. You know? So there were giants that were produced there, you know, out of the human and a, uh, and, a, and an angel. So it was then. These were times I need to understand. These were the times whereby you know Adam and Eve, the the production, the generation of Adam and Eve, Bukin and Abel, or what. And and also this is one of the things that uh, the Azazel the the the, the angels did. Yeah? They taught they taught um, human beings the secrets of the heaven. More like, for example, makeup. Makeup was um, a, a secret 
was a, a thing from heaven. Makeup is something that is from heaven that was that were taught to women. You know, makeup, jello, jewelry, none, none. everything is to do like with beauty and all that. Puff, puff, puff. Come, it originates from heaven. Ne? So this these angels taught people that. And one of the things that they did teach also, again, they taught um, men how to build weapons. You know, these wars that are happening and all that, the way it was happening at the time. So, the angels, Azazel, they taught, um, they taught, um, uh, you know, the human beings, everything has to do with, uh, anything has to do with fighting, you know, why, skills and all that, the weapons, you know, the sword and all that. So this pe these angels literally did a lot of things, you know, they, they taught a lot of things, but then there was so much rebellious things going on, right? And then as time went by, uh, as time went by, uh, what happened is that the angels, né? you know, they started being corrupt. They started having, you know, making women and men to do bad things. The giants, the, especially the giants, the giants had this thing which like they had to be idolized, they had to be worshipped. So now the Israelites and everyone, uh, they are worshipping, you know, the giants because they are literally big and they can do anything. They they demanded sacrifices. They demanded that they should do adultery, fornication, and all that. So the F was too much really re re well, The earth was too much. It was so much bad, in a bad, bad condition that God, Vilevele, decided. He decided to like, you know what? I mean, this is too much. I'm going to end this thing using water. So these are the events that are happening before Noah, before Noah could come. But it was as said in the Bible, uh, as said in the Bible that there will be, you know, a son that will come, a descendant that will come, and and then he will, you know, just like Jesus, just like Moses, you know, they will, you know, help the God's vision that he had. So there were events that are happening, and if you read also in the book of, you know, the book of Enoch, it does speak a lot about uh, the 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 big the giants. You know, whatever it is that they did, they had a dream. One one giant had a dream when they were sleeping. You know, they had a dream that, uh, you know, someone uh, like they go. There's going to be something has to happen. They're gonna end with like water, like that, like them disappearing, them being killed, is gonna be happening with water. But then they were troubled because they couldn't understand what does that mean. They couldn't understand anything. And then there was a guy called there was a a, a guy called Enoch, right? Enoch. Almost just like Noah, he, he he was the one that got, you know, so good, you know, this guy respects my laws, this guy is honest and he lives according to the way I have said and everything. Almost everyone is bad, but God had hope and had eyes on Enoch. What? Had eyes has had eyes on Enoch. But so Enoch, one of the um you know spiritual gifts that he could do, he 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 could actually a. Uh, you know, he could actually interpret, interpret dreams and all that. So the giants, one of the giants were like struggling with everything. Like they had asked and then they, they, you know, they called other people to explain to them, what, say, what is this? What's happening? What, what are these dreams that are we getting? What? We don't understand all these things. Well, so they go, they went to Enoch. The, the other servant that was saving the giants, they went to Enoch, right? Went to Enoch and, uh, and told, told to to Noprah. Uh, you are needed, you know, we, we need you so that we can go and interpret the dreams. The situation was tense, it was, it was, it was horrific, it was quite intensifying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even imagine, you know, the state where, of which Enoch was in. But then God was with, God was with, you know, Enoch, right? And the, the, there were, it was hope, there was hope for this, you know, everything that was happening. But God really, God's patience and God's anger was literally so much that at that point he decided and he wanted everything to end right you know there was so much hate going on people were there was a fornication people were stealing people were killing everything that was happening there you know? everything that's literally happening right now was happening you know before so as time went by um they did not stop the giants did not stop doing whatever it is that they were doing and the angels they did not stop doing whatever it is that they were doing although they were so much re re uh, rebellious 
we were so much you know wicked and, and hypocrite and all uh, until okay then it came to pass this is where you get enoch when i no this is where i'm sorry this is where you get noah well enoch actually here's what happened to enoch enoch um it was taken by god i mean there were a lot of things that are written down in the book of enoch so much in detail like you know the hands how everything was made like there was a literally a whole whole bunch like what this thing is in a greek there's a greek word for that and all everything like each and every detail that you you probably know right now it's in the book of enoch about you know the body the eyes and everything everything how everything was structured there the bible doesn't really directly tell you this but the book of enoch probably tell you this and then other things like you know how heaven you know how heaven is like the more detailed version of heaven is too much so you need to grab your you know when you have time you go study the book of enoch so now as you go as you go get go to the book of enoch uh before the event you know actually enoch what happened to enoch is that he he didn't die god took him enoch didn't die god took him you know so he's one of the people that God, you know, took sharp. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. And then, now what, what happens, gay? Okay? Then we come to these events that are happening, that are probably biblical. You can find in the scriptures, right? Genesis, I don't know, somewhere Genesis there. But before, you know, these are events that happened before Noah, right? Noah is one of the descendants of, of Enoch and all that. So that's when God saw, God was probably angry and, and he despised everything and he wanted to everything to end. But then he saw Uban Unua. He saw Unua got to know. Jita, you know, probably respects you know his will, probably does things well. And then until there, and then he, he told, he talked, he sent an angel, a good angel, a good angel. He sent a good angel to to uh, um to, to know and talk to Noah got to, you know. Fear not. There's a reason why, you know, why um, the angels said fear not. Meaning, there's a, a, the way the way the angels are structured. You know, if Muntu would say no, fear not. Probably you are scared. Meaning, whatever it is that you see is scary. But then we'll get to that one. You know how the angels are, are. and then, so fear not, my 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 descend, my young. You know, however they said it, however the angel said it, you know, fear not, um, you know, you know, God is probably, you know, going to use you and, and probably these are the instructions, you know, that, this was a time whereby uh, God had told, you know, uh, hey, bro, I want you to build a ship, I want you to build a ship, I'm going to destroy everything, I'm here, I'm up to here because of what the people in the world are doing, so here's what I want you to do, I'm going to give you the measurements of an ark, the story of an ark, we know it. Of, of an ark and Enoch, we all know it. So, the measurements of an ark, God is a really smart person. He's a really smart God. Well, he knows everything. The the angles, the measurements, and everything they were given to Enoch, everything, the height, and all that. Well, so he started building, and he, he he was commanded that no, to uh, take for each and every animal that you gonna take, take a male and a female. Male and a female. There's a reason for that. Male and a female. Male and a female. Each and every. A snake, male, a snake, female, dog, male, dog, female. You know that? So the world is like that. And understand, mind you, mind you, there is nothing wrong with the world. No, there is there's nothing wrong with the earth. There is nothing wrong with the earth. Ne? The earth still functions in a really in a good way, you know. The water, everything, everything is in function according to how it was said. You know, the male, the, a male dog is a male dog. A female dog is a is a female dog. The male dog cannot be a female, a female inside. A male dog in outside cannot be a female inside. So there's probably something wrong with the world that you are living in today. A female giraffe is a female giraffe. A male giraffe is a male giraffe. Each and every animal that you see. It is a male and a female. It cannot be a male body inside a, uh, and then there's a female spirit inside. So it kind of tells you, see, there's something wrong with our earth, with our world right now. There's something wrong with humans. So, and then God saw that, 
and then he he wanted to destroy that he was up to here because of that and then he um then come it went and come to the day whereby um <clears throat> it happened again it happened bah! oh god actually tried you know actually destroyed everything via water using water what destroyed everything in the world using water because people were rebellious you know, and all people did not respect and all that oh, bang oh, sharp 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 oh, so this is what happened to the to the to the to the to the giants you might say what happened to the big giants so this is where it comes the origin of demons oh, so this is how it happened this is where it comes now uh when the giants lost their body you know they became when the giants lost their body obviously they lost their body and all that because of the water that was there everyone was killed the and those demonic you know i mean those angels and and the giants were killed so what happened is when the giants you know the body of the when the giants died then the the what was left were the spirit Right, and now this spirit, we call them demons. Demons are spirit. Oh, demons are spiritual, and demons. What do they need now? I guess they don't have a body to obviously possess. You know, to they don't have a body that is much that big and giant no more. They don't have it. You know, they can't have it. So what do they do? That's why it's limited. Like that's why they they usually want to take you know the person that is available and here. Oh, so this is one thing. <clears throat> now, what what is happening right now is that, is that the demons are spiritual, are, are spiritual beings that died, of which their physical body, which were giants, they died a long time ago, right? So this is where the demons they originate from. So demons are spiritual beings, okay? And what they are looking for, so they are looking for a soul. Let me um dwell in the soul. So a human being has three things inside that are happening. You have a spirit, you have a soul, and you have a flesh. Um, mind you that they cannot get into the spirit. Why? Because you are his spirit. You have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always already secure in this one. Ne? So but and then the flesh, the flesh. Right, they can't access the flesh. You are the flesh, like you know, can't access the flesh. But the, what they can possess is um your your soul. And what is your soul? Your soul is your mind, your choices, your will, and your emotions. Those three things, right? And and your heart, vele vele. The, the, there's a person who said that um whoever controls your heart controls your your life. Babo? Whoever controls your heart controls your life. So, what demons possess, which is one topic I will get with the part two of this series, you know, they do possess your, they they do possess your soul. So when I, when when the Bible says that, you know, the devil is roaring, you know, looking for a body to, looking for someone else to grab, talking about your mind, your soul, your heart. Your will and your emotions. So we're going to delve in um, the demon position. How do they possess on the next series? But then, thank you very much, guys, for taking time and to listen to this. I do hope uh, that I will get any comments, you know, suggestions, corrections. I'm open for that. But I do hope that we try to close gaps that we have in the church and the things that we don't deal with. But um, I'd really like to hear your your, your suggestion or your compliment or your 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 thoughts on this subject. Uh, remember that now we are dealing with the origin of demons. Where do demons originate from? Now, once we get to understand this, we're going to try to understand how do they take position of our life. Obviously, there are deep things that we we can't obviously discuss right now. You know, the things that are happening in a spiritual. Uh, uh, in the spiritual uh, level environment but then otherwise guys thank you very much for listening today and have a great night a great day and thank you.